Hey YouTube, Ryan here from 45 Drives with another tech tip around the big green machine, the Destroynator. Today we're talking disk cloning and how you can leverage that into your batches in the Kill Disk software. So in a previous tech tip around our Destroynator product, I showed you how to create a batch uh, to help optimize your workflow. Uh, with disk cloning, we're gonna do the same process. It's just an extra added step when we go to create the batch. First thing we wanna do is predefined what disk bay is gonna be our clone source to image from. So right now I have a Windows boot drive loaded in the 1-1 disk bay of our Destroynator here in our lab. Um, and I'm going to go up to Tools and Preferences and go to the Clone Sources section of the Preferences. As you can see in this example where I only have one drive, I only have one option to select as my clone source, so I'll check off 1-1 as my clone source. And as you see, that will lock the disk bay as a clone source, so it cannot be added into any other batches or wiped accidentally. So here we are in the middle of creating our batch that we are going to use the disk cloning option. If you want to know how I got to this step, um, go back and watch our previous tech tip on how to create a batch and it should show you all the steps that led me to getting to here. So what we will do when we are here is we will go to our clone sources and we should have the one we predefined as the 1-1 SSD. And we click finish and now we have a batch created. Um, for the window imaging function. So now that we have two disk bays, 1-8, 1-9, populated with hard drives and have assigned them to our Windows imaging batch, we are able now to start it. Again, what will happen is the preferences windows will pop up and see if there's any last minute changes you want to make. If you were to check the disk cloning section, you will see that we have two clone targets ready to be imaged. Once we click start and type in our key, key phrase, the batch will commence. Once this is finished, if successful, you will have two more Windows boot drives with the exact same image as your 1-1 clone source. So that's cloning and how you can add it to your batches within the Kill Disk software. So whether you're an IT staff that needs a bunch of boot drives imaged at once or just a single clone copy of one hard drive, this feature can greatly be accomplished with a few clicks of a button. We do have a knowledge base article on this process if you need a refresher. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for joining and see you next time.